you know, he, he made an allegation there. He said that the chief judge of the state is an interested party in this matter and that he is clearly a member of the E11. You have said you have members, you know, from oh, all oh, states. Yeah, 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 yes, is the that. chief judge a member of your party, a uh, bigger pardon, of your group? Let me... Is that why things are get, getting all right in the state? You see, people are now making several, several allegations that allegations will never get to an end. I have heard several things. <coughs> I only know, I have only heard of the chief judge's name in the Kitty State. I have not seen him one-on-one -on -one in my life. I have never, I have not seen him. The justice so we, I mean, was handling our case. As I, the first time I saw him, the first time I heard about him was the second, the, the date we were going to court on the 22nd of, uh, no, the, the, uh, the first time we went to court. That was the first time I said, ah, who, which judge is even handling this, our matter? I said, he said, it's Joseph Ogunye. I said, it's from where? I don't even know. But up to, it was the first time I met him, was the first time I saw him in the court. If he's a member of E-11, the whole world will have known. The, all our members listed there, the equity man, all, the, all of them, you know we are all equity people. So it's very easy for anybody to say who and who is a member of who and who. You can find out. I have right. not seen Josie Daramola in my life. I have not met him one on one. Okay, let's find out from uh, Lero Lainka, who is the media aide to the governor elect. Morning and thank you for joining us today. What can you tell us about what is going on, about this attack uh, uh, with those who work in the courts in Ekiti? Hello, hello, good morning. Morning, go ahead, please. Um, what happened in Ekiti? What happened in Ekiti, I want to say, is, is the handy work of the people that have been given the state problem since 1999. These E11 people, they were the ones who, they were the one who, who wrote against Fire Shea, they came here in 1999. They were the ones who, who wrote against Fire Shea the first time. They were the ones who rose against the only. The only government they have not, they have not, they, they never fought was that of fire me. Who is their person? The time, the issue of the invasion of court and all that, because the people are honorable people. Nigerians who also know that we are honorable people. On June 21 this year, a people took out to vote for Ayo Fayoshi as their governor. People have been sustained once by the judiciary. The judiciary made Fayami governor through, through what is known as Salami government in Ekiti. The same people want to also use judiciary to sustain Ekiti, and you don't expect them not to react. They reacted on Monday, not because anybody asked them to react. They reacted on Thursday, not because anybody asked them to react. On Monday, that these people are talking about, Fayoshi was not in Nigeria. On Thursday, Fayoshi went to the court to attend the tribunal sitting. In other words, actually, I've had this man, my, my brother, if I ignore it, so that some of us, this from the issue, I've had them talk about issues that should be campaign issues. Fayoshi has no integrity, Fayoshi did not perform. All these things are campaign issues. All these issues are what they use to campaign against Fayoshi before the election. And if the people rejected them and voted for Fayoshi, I want to put it to, 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 to a call as you know. It's from the Gesha issue. His polling unit is number 14 in the Gesha issue. In, in that polling unit, PDP had more than five votes. APC had 58 votes. In the Gesha issue, where the Nigeria is from, APC had more than eight votes. PDP had one, one and six, one and four votes. Has impacted positively on the poor British issue. Shouldn't he have been able to convince them to vote against us that he does not want? If he was not able to convince a desired people to vote against him, put his siblings vote for Fayoshi, his brothers and sisters vote for Fayoshi, I, 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 I will even be surprised if his if 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 mother, brothers, elder brothers, elder sisters voted for Fayoshi. So he was not able to convince people of the size to put the fire shape. He's now, he's, he's, we have people in E level, and it's very unfortunate. All right, Mr. Lanka. I'm coming. They are only in reference to the city, and that is why they have not been able to control the minds of the people. It's a drinking joint along Adebayo Road. 
All right, let, let, let me let, let's get a reaction from Mr. Adenino straight away about that. I mean, Adenino. Uh, this time around, using the judiciary, my brothers and sisters, people walk, they should know. If people vote for Francis on U21, and that is that is how it should be. Democracy is not choice. Mr. Loyenga, can you hear me? I'm, I'm listening. All right, let me get uh, Mr. Adjinino's reaction to what you have said straight away. I mean, he has said now, but, uh, well, yes, these are all that, he, all that he has said, all that he has said, they are all political. And I'm not going to delve into any political issues here. I'm not a politician. He, he, he is a politician. I'm not a politician. I, if, if no, no, it's not. Uh, maybe let me take a look at it from the perspective of those who may be watching who may not understand it. Yeah. He, from what he says, yes. you could correct it if it's wrong, it does appear as though that, well, yes, the E11 did not want fire share to be presented by the People's Democratic Party. Yes. That's why he went to court in the first place. And then he's suggesting that you could not convince a kitty people not to elect him, and then you're still insisting going through the courts to try to stop the, that. The issue of his victory at the election is another that is in the tribunal. So whether he won, whatever, there are a lot of other stories around. So let us leave. No, it's not, is it the issue of his winning or the conduct of security officials on election day that is at the tribunal? All the matters are still pending in the tribunal. By the E11? No, 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 by the part by the APC PDP issue. That's the APC PDP matters. For me, he, he has just he dev on personal matters now, like my hometown, all those kind of. Go and ask from Yisha issue, ask from the KBC, ask from any young man, any man, anybody around, whether I have impacted positively on the people or not. That those are personal issues. I'm not going to start discussing those ones. But let us. You cannot build something or nothing. If an election was held and a candidate is not qualified, I, I think the law allows anybody who felt something was wrong somewhere, it's not, sometimes the majority may not be right sometimes. The minority could be wrong. It's uh, not in democracy. Sometimes you say majority is it, is it, but then there should be a way for the minority. So if in this instance, according to a him... A way for the minority. What does if, that mean? What I'm saying is the law court. Sometimes everybody can be seeing everything the same this way. We might just, one, one man might just sit down somewhere and look at it from one different perspective. And of course, he will have the right. So that's what the E11 is trying that's to do. That's what we are trying to do. This is what we have seen. He said we have allowed, we have not, Shagun, he was a member of, he's still a member of E11. He was in government. We know how we supported him. In fact, he was the one that even encouraged all of us to come home and invest. He made it mandatory that all of us must come and invest in this state. All our companies must come or have a branch in the Kitty state. And that, which, that is what all of us are doing. We did. My head office is in is Nikiti. My head office is in Nikiti. That was my business. Are you worried about the implications of this? Because he's raised a very vital point. That, yes, uh, that might have happened in the past. You've taken this issue to court. But the people of Ikiti have returned him elected. Um, how does it then sit with them that you're now beginning to contest the integrity, you say, uh, in the court of, this, of their candidate, of the man whom they overwhelmingly gave their vote? How does it sit? How do you think it will sit with the Ekiti people? Are you looking at the consequences of this? All this we have analyzed. Ekiti, the population of Ekiti is about, those who reside in Ekiti is about 2 million. The population of Ekiti worldwide, we have over 6 million. If you take the statistics, just those in my village, juxtaposed with what those outside the Ekiti state and outside Nigeria, you will know that we are over 6 million. You if only two have, you, have you how did you get those? No, I'm only just I'm only saying for just for purposes of uh, this discussion. If you are now saying that two hundred and something thousand have voted for Fayoshi and one hundred and something thousand have voted for Fayoshi, and the three hundred and something that will represent that will think that will take the interest of my children that are yet the children that the children are yet the, the unborn children, then we must be making a very big mistake. We cannot conclude here to say that three hundred and three hundred thousand people that voted on that election day should be enough to take a decision that will be binding on the generations to come. Did you vote on that day? Of course I did. Of course and I you're did. you're not happy with the way things went? Of course I was not. So I knew that the election was free, but whether it was fair is another thing. But you there, were a lot of, there were a lot of other things. And that was, that was why when the issue of APC, PDP went to, I mean, APC went to tribunal, well, good luck. Let's see. These are issues. So if, are they right when they say that? The E11 yes. and other groups yes. are trying to stop him from being inaugurated. I am not saying that. But what I'm saying is that 
he was not qualified as far as I know, as far as we know at E-level, as far as the first that we know is concerned. How that many was members? Why, do you have the, that, the number of members of E-11? Yes, we have our numbers. We are about 50-something now. We used to be 200-something. Some people left for political reasons. If you don't, you are trying to, if those who are trying to force us into political things to follow them, you know, people want to come, they want us to support them, they want, we say no. As a group, we will not join issues with anybody to, into politics. But, but you're doing that no now. Yes, yeah, because of the circumstances we find ourselves. Because I, I wonder how, 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 how a group so small as E11 yes. would uh, have successfully plunged equity into that kind of chaos. You, you saw that report. And if you say uh, you're just a small number of persons, yes. uh, businessmen, you have your interest in Ekiti State, yes. one would have thought that you would want to protect your interest that is what instead, of what, that we, is what instead, of, what, instead of what we're getting to see now. That is what uh, we're trying to protect. Fraka, mayhem and everything. All these things will uh, have been avoided. Uh, they are completely avoidable. Uh, completely avoidable. If someone, even if it's one man, goes to court and says, look, this man is not qualified for integrity issues, for God's sake. You just said the judge has collected money. Uh, you, will not, so you, will not, you will not agree. You are, they are trying to go back door. At what point are you going to stop back door judgment? Uh, this, these are issues. But who do you think are those who attack the judiciary? Of course, the PDP guy, the five Jay people. Well, let, let me ask this question. You used the word the PDP people, and you said some members of E11 are PDP members. So you shouldn't be using this uh, categorical or blanket statement by saying the PDP people. When you say that, when you say that, the next the next thing that comes to mind will be that you are a member of the opposition. In this instance, in this instance, I'm on this side. Whoever is on the other side is on the opposition. No, but you're eleven. I'm eleven. 11 this side, we believe, in the, we believe in the rule of law, and we are on this side. That's why we went to court. If we have, if we have wanted to take the, uh, the law into our own hand, we wouldn't have gone to court. Okay. Mr. Lai, we will have encouraged We will have mobilized. I mean, APC guys will have joined us. APC talks will have joined us. APC uh, committee, uh, interested people will have joined us to, move to, to start all this kind of chaos they are starting. Okay. Mr. Lai.